Welcome back guys, my name is Joe and today I'm showing you how you can solve errors in your console and also I'm going to be going over the proper way to report an error to a developer on Spigot, let's say, that's going to be my example. So to start off with, we need to go and try and find an error in the, in the uh, log files over here. So first of all, I'm going to load up the server and uh, I've personally put a broken plugin in, so I've gone back in, uh, you know, I back up a lot of server stuff. So I've gone back to like 2014 and picked out a plugin. So as you see here, we are getting errors, but you can see the server is fully uh, optimal. Uh, I'm not that many versions behind the latest version, but yes, let's just stop there. And also, I want to make a quick note that I'm no expert on this type of stuff. I'm, I don't have a Java degree, but I have coded in Java before, uh, just a couple of small plugins, and I have a, I know quite a lot of developers. So yes, um, so just take this from experience. Don't take it as a t, you know, a like heart. You know what I expect from this video is, you know, you learn it from me, but I want you to adapt it so you can come even better. So yes, let's get started. So we've made our log file, so it's the latest one. We're going to open it up and we'll make it big screen. So as we see here, this is the general um, general log file of the server. So each server has one of these. Uh, even if it's vanilla, but we're mainly focusing on spigot. So we have a uh, running craft bucket, but it's actually running spigot. It's like a dependency off it. And as you see here, we're loading up all our plugins. And then further we scroll down, we actually come across. So we're trying to find the actual finishing point. So it's activating will guard here. And then we get to here. So as it says, done. And it gives you time it took to start it up and then it says type help or question mark to start so as you see here we have a few errors so these are the errors of what you get in your server and nine times out of ten they just spam your console so this normally happens when you update your server but you have a very old plugin on this case this plugin is version 1.7 if I remember right they're on like 3.6 now uh, if I remember but uh, as you see here we need to try and solve so here the developers already added in some features to actually you know this is my plugin doing all this error so as you see here x scores is a plugin what's the old generation plugin and that's you know i can tell you that's already that plugin messing up but not every single plugin gives you like a title straight away saying uh, this is my problem uh, you need to report it uh, sometimes you gotta dive in a bit further so such as you know when we look at um, this here so this is the actual this is like the first line and as we see here this is the plugin name just there so you've got to dive deep it's same down here so it's not always at the front of every message you've got to you know come down and read through everything and hopefully you can find it you know find the problem if you can't find uh, the actual error and why it's not why it's playing up you can't find what plugin is being upset or something like that you can use control F and you know this is like the worst possibility but just type in every single name every single uh, plugin name so we could go to our plugins and any time we see you know we just go oh uh, we'll look up essentials X we'll type in essentials X and see if anything comes up in this area and so on so that's a good indication but let's say you let's say you know what plugin it is so in my case i know the develop you know i know this plugin and i know where to contact the developer in hindsight so normally you want to copy if it's only if it's only the startup stuff so if it's no longer than you know over a thousand lines let's say um i'd say it's acceptable just to copy the entire thing but you can copy just make sure you copy the majority so the actual error spans from uh, so let's go from stop server all the way up to here so that's the actual error you, you can copy that but I normally like to add just a couple of lines extra so make sure I'm copying everything here and we'll go up to here and we can press copy so now we can actually let's go and report this to the developer so for example, I'm using Title Manager, great plugin. This is not the plugin's problem. I'm just using his web page as an example. Now, most most plugin pages on Spigot have a discussion area, and this is where a lot of the developers want you to report problems and you know ideas and so on. So you can come come here and you know we'll scroll down. So there's lots of people, and you can actually go and post 
uh, your comment there so that's that's previous from the test video but um, one thing I do recommend is just uh, don't paste in your uh, problem like this because it doesn't lay it out nicely you can actually come over to this web page so this is ma well it's made by the actual founder of spigot if I understand or the main administrator so MD dash five dot net or paste dot MD dash five dot net and you want to come actually and paste the actual code in here and we'll save it and what this does it actually highlights uh, the information for the developer so you know he can actually get through it a bit quicker in my mind so once we've done that all we gotta do is press uh, we just gotta copy the actual URL link and then we can come down here post it write your message explain your situation try and give the version number of the plugin you are using so in my case it was uh, 1.7 and try and give the actual uh, spigot version you're using as well so i'd say um, spigot build such and such build you know 25 builds behind it, it's however you want to explain it but there is one of one other way so if you need to maybe a bit more communication um you can go on to go back to the main page click on their name to go to their profile then i normally just click on their name again so if is there a start no nope. So we'll click on their name again. And if you can get this little uh, black box to pop up, we can actually start a conversation with the developer. Name it what you need, and you know, name name what you got to put in there. Call it error or some you know a problem with this plugin errors, and then paste in the uh, URL and then explain your problem again and then just start a conversation and. You know, if you are polite and nice to the developers, they are very nice back to you. Don't don't moan them because their plugin is broken. Because nine times out of ten, it's a it's a small mistake they've made in, on Spigot. It's a very nice community over there, so I do recommend you go and join. So yeah, that is how I diagnose and report problems to Spigot or any other you know plugin website. There's many ways you can do it, and that's how I recommend it to my viewers right now. But when I go back over, you know, when you are doing the uh, log files, you want to try and develop your own system and try and learn it. You know, most of this you don't you don't need to know. You it it it's all to do with the actual coder. So the actual developer needs to know what's actually happening. He would understand this. A lot of this I don't understand. A few of it I do. Um, you know, just want to be honest. But you no, know, that is you know that is how you report a problem to a developer on Spigot and try and solve your problems. So I hope this video has helped. If you enjoy these types of videos, please tell me, and I'll do a lot more of them. You know, uh, ex you know, telling you my experiences of doing Minecraft servers. You know, I'm coming up on my third or third and a half, fourth year now. So yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. So thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Always suggest, you know, video ideas, anything down to the comments, and please always ask your questions as well. And I'll see you next time. So make sure you like, subscribe, favorite, uh, go and follow me on Twitter, and um, yeah. That is pretty much it guys, so thanks a lot and I will see you in the next video, goodbye.